Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Good Hello. afternoon, teacher. Hi, Janira, Guadalupe, Ruth, Hi, and Belinda. Hello. How are you today? Fine. You're fine. Hey, Excellent. Great. I'm fine as well. Okay. Let's wait for your classmates. What day is it today? Who can tell me the date? Today is? Thursday. Okay. Thursday. 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 No, es que dijo otra vez. Today is. Mm -hmm. Seven, seven. Check. Veamos. How do we express? Seven, seven. Okay. Thursday, July 7th. Thursday, July 7th. Do not forget to practice, okay? But that's okay. That's all right. It's time to start already. So let me show you what we have for today. This is a topic that we already covered, you know, in previous courses. So it's going to be quite easy. We are still in section number one. And because we have some activities from section number one, right? But as well. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Um, fine. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Tengo una consulta. Yeah, please go ahead. Eh, pero es de la plataforma. Okay. Dice que no... Bueno, la verdad, ya intentamos hacerla y no pudimos hacer la 1.11. Bueno, en la última, la número 4. Ok, ok, ya tengo la respuesta. Don't worry. I don't know why. ¿Saben qué? Ahí me lo, ahí me lo pasa, por favor. Sí, la verdad, lo vamos a trabajar ahora. Y si les muestro, ¿saben que si les muestro mi plataforma? Es la única que tengo como resuelta porque varios me han consultado, ¿saben? No sé por qué hay confusión en ese detalle de la número 4. But don't worry. Vamos a hacer ahora ese ejercicio. El que le queda después del 1 punto, quiero ver, let me check. 1.13 no lleva nota, ¿ok? It's not graded. So we're going to give you the option so you can answer that exercise or not. So let me go back. Today we have section number two. We had a great time. ¿De qué creen que se va a tratar section number two? ¿Alguna idea? Miren, had. ¿A qué les recuerda esto? El pasado del el verbo El pasado. Tú. No solo el verbo tú, sino el pasado. Vamos a volver a repasar los verbos en pasado. But in this case, in this class, we are going to remember what is the past of the verb to be. ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Cuál es el past of the verb to be? Mm -hmm. Who can tell me what is the past of birth to be? Was and where. Mm -hmm. was, was and where. where. Was and where. And in the present, in the present we have am, um, is, and are. So don't forget please about that. Was and where, is, am, um, and are. So let's go to the platform. Yesterday, we didn't finish with this activity. Let me see, aquí estamos. Ahí está el ejercicio, miren, look. Pero antes, vámonos, ¿se acuerdan de este ejercicio? The video, questions with how. Vamos a responderlo en base a lo que tenemos acá. Here we go. Let's go and check the information. School. How well do you speak English? How okay, let's go back. Answers. Hello everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. 
How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. How? How often? How long? They refer to times or frequency. How well? How good? They refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Please answer these questions on our discussion box. Okay, how often and how? Pretty good. Well, how long and how good? Did you hear? She was explaining about the meaning of these four different questions. ¿A qué se refiere? How often and how long? To express what? How? Expresar el qué? Did you hear? If not, let how, me play it again. How often? How long? They refer to how times or frequency. Es con qué frecuencia, ¿verdad? Ah, okay. There we go. How long? Frequency. ¿Cuánto tiempo? La traducción. Mm. Sí, ambas se refieren para frequency. Miren, con qué frecuencia hacemos las cosas. How often and how long. Okay. How long, basically, it's about time. Más que todo se refiere a tiempo. How often es como cuántas veces hacemos. One, two, three, four, five times. And how long puede ser para horas. Okay, one hour, two hours. Two days, three days, but, but it's specific. Veamos que dice de how well and how good. ¿Para qué se refieren estas dos expresiones? How well, how good. They refer to performance. They refer to? Do you know th this word? Performance. Do you know what is this? Fair for men's. ¿Qué será esto, clase? Performance. What is this? Ideas. Look it up in Google if you want, in the translator, in your dictionary, or give me the definition. What is this? Performance. ¿Qué será esto, clase? Actuación. Mm. Actuar. Mm. No algo así, si, algo no así, sé. pero no, no, no. Otro Perdón. sinónimo, please. De how well y how good, no sería como medir la capacidad, algo así. Digo. Ajá, exactamente, que también lo haces. Ah, well o sea, and good, those are synonyms. Yes, Alberto. Rendimiento. Rendimiento, muy bien. Rendimiento. Eh, performance, sí, puede ser ocupado en varios contextos. But in this context, is about rendimiento, que también hacen las cosas. Que también... Puedes manejar, que también puedes nadar. O sea, que tan bien eh, hablas inglés. Ok, well, good. And often and long, it's about frequency. So, is this part clear? Tenemos que tener esto claro. So we can continue with the exercises. How often, how long, how well, and how good. Let's go back. Look, I have an exercise right here. Because remember, we are making questions, you know? So look, we have an explanation here. Le voy a compartir esta información as well. Well, it's not this one. Let me see, aquí está. Look, this is important information. Please, don't confuse good and well. They may be synonyms, pueden ser synonyms pero no siempre se va a usar en el mismo contexto. Look at the explanation. Use the adjective good with be. ¿Con qué lo vamos a utilizar? Con el verbo to be. And use the adverb. This is not an adjective. This is an adverb. The adverb well with other verbs. Uno es un adjetivo y el otro es un adverbio. Entonces no los confundamos. Let me repeat again. Don't confuse good and well. Use the adjective good with the verb to be. And the adverb well with other verbs. And here we have the examples. 
Look at the examples. How good are you at soccer? Si se fijan, tenemos el verbo to be. How good are you at soccer? How well do you play soccer? Con otro tipo de verbos. Do you play sería acá el complemento. How good are you at soccer? How well do you play soccer? Okay, this is a very important information. So, I have four options to complete this exercise. I have good, long, often, and well. And I have number one, two, three, and four, okay? Based on these, we are going to complete the questions. And then we are going to match the questions and answers, okay? I'm going to give you some time. This is going to be a pair work. Vamos a trabajar en parejas, pair work. So, a ver qué tan bien nos va con este ejercicio. Don't worry. Si no está claro, ahorita podemos volver a repasar la información. How well, how good, how often, and the other one is how long. Recuerden que son preguntas, questions with how, in order to find out about performance and about frequency, okay? Is it clear what we are going to do? Complete the exercises with the help of your classmates. Okay, go and check your WhatsApp, please. Ahí va la información, chicos. Go, go to WhatsApp. Let me see, ahí está. Tratemos de completarlo con sus compañeros. No creo que nos tome mucho tiempo, solo son four exercises. And let me take you to different groups. Grupo de tres. Aquí vamos. Go, please. Four minutes or three minutes to complete this exercise. Go, please. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Go with your classmate, please. I'm still missing a lot of you. Join your groups. Okay, El primero sería, I think it's how well. Anyway. I think it's ah, the first muda. one. Is how well do you live weight? How well do you live weight? Not very well, but I love it. Yes, I guess. The second one. Mm, the second one. How long? About six hours. How long? Uh -huh. how, long how long do you play basketball? Yes. The third are uh, you at volleyball? Not very often. Um, how do, how often, how often are you at volleyball? Not, Not very often. I prefer, I prefer martial arts. How often? How often? 
Y el otro es how well. How, how, no, how good. Mm, how good no, do you stand the, at the gym? But good is with B. I think that the three is how, how good. How good. No, pretty good. Use the adjective good with B. B? Uh huh. Yes, I think that the number three is how good because the B's are. Uh huh. Ajá. Teacher. Hola. Teacher, me quedó una duda con el con el good. Yeah, tell me. Eh, tengo entendido que el often es con frecuencia, long tiempo, well rendimiento, pero el good. Vale, tenemos dos que son con frecuencia y dos que son con rendimiento. Los dos que van con frecuencia son often and long. Y los que son con rendimiento es well and good. La diferencia de well and good es que uno se usa con el verbo to be y el otro se ocupa con cualquier otro verbo. Esa es como la regla de well and good. Los demás no tienen una regla. Uh -huh. That's it. Entonces dice number four, how long do you spend at the gym? Ok. ¿Qué tanto tiempo pasas en el gimnasio? Está bien. How long? Sorry, how good. Muy bien. ¿Qué tan bueno eres yes, para? Are. Porque tenemos el verbo to be are. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how good are you at volleyball? Very good. Number two. Number two. Eh, long, ¿Será de rendimiento often, o de cuánto often. tiempo? How ah, often. ok, ok. How often? Y este, que si sí es de rendimiento, ¿verdad? Right. No, 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 Ahora las respuestas. No serían en el uno el well. Ay, sí. Ajá. No. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, es cierto. Me equivoqué. Tienes razón. Ah, oh, bueno. Es que yo pensaba, yo lo, lo vi así de esta manera. Como está la, es que están en algún lado, ¿verdad? La respuesta. Solo se queda Vale, la. ahí está. Siguiendo la respuesta de la página. Ahora, como, como consideran ustedes que van las respuestas. Ah, ok. Que también. Tienen, o sea, tiene como las palabras clave, ¿verdad? Las Ajá. preguntas. Okay, I'm taking you back for a reason. So, traigo de regreso por una un detallito, okay? Don't worry. Let's come back just for a while. Vamos a hacer algo. Before we continue, I need to explain something. Okay. There we go. 
your classmates are coming. So uh, I had to stop uh, the groups because of a reason. Vi que había una pequeña confusión. So before we continue, and I don't want you to get confused. Hi, teacher. Hello. Ok, les muestro algo antes que vayamos de regreso a los grupos. Look. Si se fijan en el ejercicio, yes. La lógica, eh, sí, la usamos muy bien, de acuerdo a, las, a la explicación. But let me repeat again. Les repito nuevamente la instrucción. If you see, we have frequency and we also have performance. Tenemos dos y dos. Dos palabras para expresar frequency and two words to express performance. Let me put in red. Well, in blue. Good. Ah, two. Y well, ¿para qué gracias, significan gracias. estas? Estas son para qué? Good and well. ¿Para? Frequency or performance? Performance. 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 And, performance. We also, and we have long and often to express. Frequency. Bien, ahí estamos bien. Sale mucho más fácil si primero identificamos las respuestas y así vamos a saber qué utilizar, porque vi que lo estaban poniendo al contrario, pero la respuesta les le va a dar una clave. Look at number one. Lift weights. Levantar pesas. Do you lift weights? ¿Qué será la pregunta? ¿O cuál es la respuesta? Performance. Look, this is not very well, but I love it. About six hours a week. Not very often. I prefer martial arts. And the last one, pretty good, but I hate it. Okay. Frequency. Lift weights. Es frecuencia. Meaning? Frequency B. This is C. really it's letter C. Not very often, I prefer Arshon March. En base a esta respuesta, ¿cuál es mi pregunta? Si me está expresando, miren, frecuencia. Y para frecuencia solo tengo dos. Long and often. ¿Cuál sería how su pregunta? Often. How. Muy bien. How long or how often? How, how often. often. That's how it. Often. Because in the answer, we also have the expression often. So yes, number one is how often. How often. There we go. Let's go to number two. Veamos a número dos. What is the answer? Do you play basketball? Do you play basketball? About six hours a week. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Or about six hours. Uh -huh. Not it very cool, well. Not hate. very well, but I love it. Not very well, but I love it. Será sobre frecuencia o performance? Performance. Okay, performance. what is the question then? The question it will be how, how well do you play? Basketball. How well? Okay, vamos a ver si es verdad. How well do you play basketball? There we go. Okay, how well do you play basketball? So what is the answer? Not very well, but I love it. Mm -hmm. Aquí está la misma respuesta. Not very well, but I love it. So we are still missing two. We already have often and we have well. Nos hace falta con good and long. Look, ¿qué tengo acá? What is this in number three? Is this the verb to be? Mm -hmm. And it's the verb to be. Si tenemos el verb to be, what are we going to use? How. 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 Go. Good. Miren, good. 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 Aquí está la respuesta. Good. Very good. So, how good. Ahí está. How good are you at volleyball? Letter D or letter B? 
letter D. Letter mm -hmm. D. D. Pretty good, but I hate it. Pero no me gusta eso. I'm good, but I hate it. Okay. And the last one. How about the last one? Do you spend how at the gym? Yes. How long? How long? How long? Frequency. Yeah, the time. Yes, right. How long do you spend at the gym? About six hours a week. And here we have it. Miren, frecuencia y performance. Frequency and performance. Okay? So here we have it. So most of the time, if you see, we are using short answers. And in la respuesta ya incluimos la misma expresión con la que me preguntan. Muchas veces, most of the time. Okay? Muchas veces incluimos la respuesta. La expresión con la que me están preguntando. How often do you lift weights? Miren, not very often. Y en mi pregunta me hicieron la misma observación. How often? Not very often. Look at number two. How well do you play basketball? Aquí un sinónimo, ok? Pretty good. O podemos decir not very well. Esta ahí, ¿verdad? Me preguntan con well, puedo responder también con well as well. Okay. So let's go to the platform. Nos estaba fallando la número cuatro, you said, in the platform. So let's see. Veamos qué tenemos en la número cuatro. You know, it's not difficult. Solo es de saber identificar. ¿Qué nos está fallando? Si es que estoy, estoy ocupando... A different adjective or adverb. So in number one, look at this one. ¿Qué tenemos en la número uno? It's a question. At volleyball, y dice aquí, I guess I'm pretty good. Aquí está mal escrito también. I'm pretty good. It's, I'm pretty good. I often play on weekend. Miren, ya me están dando la respuesta. I often Play on weekends. ¿Cuál será mi pregunta? What is the question? Uh -huh. In number one. Who wants to try with number how one? How often? How often? How often you, do you? Do you? Are you? Creo que en esa. Uh -huh. How often do you? At volleyball. Do you at volleyball? Uh, I have mm -hmm. teacher. Yes, are you? Good. Are good. you? Mm -hmm. How good oh, are you? Go. Good. good are you? you? Like How this good. one. How good are you? How sí, good. saben qué? Porque <laughs> esto me lo dijo todo, eh? At volleyball. Good. No podría okay. ser how often. Mm -hmm. How good. So, forget about it. Esta es como una respuesta extra, un complemento a mi pregunta. It's like an extra comment. Pero tomemos en cuenta solo esto. I guess I'm pretty good. How good are you at volleyball? That's okay. That's all right. Number two, spend online. Pasas en línea. About an hour after dinner, I like to chat with my friends. Una hora, miren, nos están preguntando sobre frecuencia. ¿Cuál usaremos? How often or how long? ¿Qué piensan ustedes? How long. Mm, ok. How long. ¿Y luego? Do, Do you? you? Because it's a question. Yes, that's all right. Number three. Dice once or twice a month. ¿Será de frecuencia o de performance? ¿Qué nos están preguntando? About frequency. 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 ¿Cuál vamos a usar for frequency? ¿Será que podemos usar how long often. or how often? Often. Mm, muy bien. Porque para horas les dije que ocupábamos how long. Y para días meses o tiempo en cantidad estamos utilizando how often y la número cuatro aquí está dice not very well 
I need to take typing class. Teacher. Mm -hmm. En la número tres, hace falta el do you. Okay. Do you. Because it's a question, right? Fíjense que en la cuatro eh, no podemos utilizar do you. How well do you type? Porque es una habilidad. Entonces, si queremos hablar de habilidades, cantar, manejar, tocar algún instrumento, eso ya es una habilidad. Entonces, para habilidades utilizamos el auxiliar o el verbo can. How well can you type? Por eso no decimos how well do you type, porque es una habilidad. Pero sí, tal vez genera confusión porque todas las demás las hemos utilizado con la misma estructura o estructura similar. But in this case, it's with can. Ahí está la número cuatro, ¿ok? So, pueden corregir ya en la plataforma, number four, if necessary. Vamos a ver, submit. Ahí están todas bien. Les doy un tiempo para que puedan comparar con sus ejercicios in the platform. Or to take a screenshot, como muchos hacen. Take a picture, you said. Ok, how well, how good. How long, how often. And you know, we have around 10 different questions using how. Hay como 10 preguntas diferentes usando how. Aquí solo estamos viendo cuatro. Pero empecemos con esta, ¿ok? Try to practice and memorize these four questions using how. ¿Ok? Because we have how many, we have how much, que también son en esta categoría, con how. But in this case, we are just using four different examples. Okay, so I have an exercise. This is, but let me stop sharing. Veamos que también nos va en este exercise. Y luego nos movemos al otro tema. I'm going to share. Lo voy a compartir sin audio, si no YouTube. Luego nos sanciona la clase. So, look at this one. Okay, how much, how long, how often, and how well. Veamos cómo nos va con este ejercicio. It's quite easy. Look at question number one. Have you been single? Has estado soltero. Have you been single? Nos pregunta de tiempo o de performance. What do you think? How long or how much, class? What do you think? How long? Hmm? How long? Okay, let's see if that's the correct one. Así vamos a ir completando, okay? How well, how long, how much, and how often. Yes, that's the correct one. How long have you been single? Look at number two. Does she go out? Does she go out? ¿Qué tanto sale? Go out es salir. How well or how, how often? often? How, how often? often. How often. Porque es frecuencia. Es frecuencia, muy bien. Uh -huh. Money does think make. ¿Cuánto dinero hace? How much. Ah, ok. Miren, esta es otra. Les decía que hay como 10 diferentes preguntas con how. This is another example. So how much does thing make? Very good job. Question number four, do you speak Arabic? Será de habilidad, performance? Oh, well. That's right, so yes. Oh, well. How well do you speak Arabic? There we go. Okay, let me have this one for Lorena. What do you think about this one? Does your father smoke? About two cigarettes a day. How much or how well? Uh, how much? Porque es cantidad. Porque es cantidad, muy bien. Es cantidad. There we go. Yes. Very good job. 
Let me have number six four. Ruth, what do you think? Time do we have? Tiempo mm. tenemos. Time do we have? How long? Mm -hmm. How long? Okay. Será de frecuencia. Nos está preguntando de, de frecuencia tiempo. o cantidad, Ruth. ¿Qué piensa tiempo. la clase? Ah, what do you think, class? How long or how much? Okay. Es tiempo. ¿Qué utilizaremos para tiempo? How much? ¿Cuánto how tiempo much? tenemos? Yes, is how much. How much? Yes. Number seven is four. Let me see. Do I have Josué there? Josué? Look, Josué. Does he speak to her? Él habla con ella. Sería cuánto tiempo, qué tan seguido, qué piensan. What do you think, class? Josué as well. How long? How long? Do you agree on that, class? How often? Ah, how often? Mm. Okay. Yes, why? Porque creen que es how often and not how long. Why, why, why? Creo que pueden ser datos o no. Mm -hmm. Que si lo entendemos en español sería como con qué frecuencia. Con qué frecuencia. Él habla con él ella. Él habla con ella. Ajá. Y, si dir, y si dijéramos how long, ¿cómo lo traducimos? Es que para horas es ¿Cuánto tiempo habla? Muy bien. Creo que ahí tendrían que especificarnos cuántas horas exactas. Uh -huh. Pero como no es algo en específico, si sí sería que tan frecuente él habla con ella. Si dijera en nuestra respuesta one hour, two hours, yes. How long? But in this case is how often. Very good. Number eight. Let me see. Is Rita there? Do you know him? Lo conoces a él. Do you know him? How often or how well? How well. Mm, okay. How well do you know him? Okay, interesting. Let me have number nine, four. Let me see. I can tengo ahí Lupita. We have a question. Eh, aquí somos específicos. Miren la respuesta. Do you tell her that you love her every single day? Le dices a ella cuánto la amas cada día. Sería how well or how often? What do you think? How oh, well. Class, ¿qué piensan? How often. Oh, how often. How often. Hmm. Que tan seguido le dices que la amas cada día. In your, in your case, guys, how often do you tell your, that you love her? Es frecuencia. And the last one. Trouble are you in? Que tantos problemas tienes? How much? How much trouble are you in? A lot, teacher. A lot of trouble, yes. Estas preguntas me pegaron a mí también. Me identifico. How trouble are you in? Así se dicen, miren. In. Cuando estamos en problema es in. I am in. Estoy en. I am in trouble, yes. So how much trouble are you in? If you knew, teacher. Si supiera, teacher. ¿En cuántos programas estoy metido? So, yes. Si se fijan. Eh, eso es lo práctica, ¿ok? Para identificar. Cuando nos dicen eh, tiempo en específico, horas en específico, ahí sí vamos a utilizar el qué. How long. Pero si están hablando de tiempo, cantidad, y no es específica, vamos a utilizar how often. Y con los demás, recuerden lo del verbo to be. Ver to be. It makes the difference, ¿ok? So, let's move on. Vámonos al último tema de ahora. El pasado del verb to be. This is quite easy. Very easy topic. Let me see where is it. 
is section number two. ¿Dónde está la sección dos? Okay, here it is. Miren, section number two. We had a great time. And here we go. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation about two people and the activities they did during the past weekend. En esta clase, escucharán a dos personas hablando sobre las actividades que hicieron el fin de semana pasado. Vamos a identificar vocabulario nuevo y preguntas en general. Veamos de qué se trata this conversation. Here we go. Look at the pictures. Hi to all. Welcome to section 7. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. Okay. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, let's go back to the conversation. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Okay. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, here we go. If you see, we have this conversation about the activities they did last weekend, okay? So let's start. Empecemos identificando. Let's identify the verbs in past. ¿Cuáles son todos los verbos en pasado that you can identify? Let's start with the first part. Rick. Mm -hmm. Aquí, ¿cuáles son los verbs in past? Verbs in past. Verbos en pasado. Did. 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 Very good. Love. Okay, but this is an expression. Esta sería una sola expresión. This is not a verb. Let's okay, let's continue with me. Went went. went. Mm -hmm. But um, before that one, um, had. Had. Uh -huh. had went. Yes. Any other? Sang. Continue. Sang. 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 Okay, Rick. Did. Okay, Did. this is this is the auxiliary, but yes, is for the past. Meg, continue with Meg. When. Okay, when. Anywhere no Anywhere. Mm, no, not really. That is a noun. Rick, continue with Rick. Style. Very good. Continue. Style. There we go. Let's continue with Meg. Forgot. Forgot. 
And that's it. Get. But get is in the present, not in the past. So we have one, two, four, six, nine different verbs. Miren una conversación utilizando nine verbs in the past. What the meaning get when you always get? Siempre obtienes una y, A. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Yes. ¿Y, ¿Y cuál es el pasado de get? It's got. Got. Mm -hmm. Got. Ah. Ajá, uh -huh. that's why this is in present. Porque dice, tú siempre obtienes una E. Miren, están utilizando un adverb of frequency también. Oh, okay. ¿Mm? Por eso se refiere a frecuencia o sea, get, en el presente. Get es obtener. Obten, obtener, yes. Okay. Fíjense que este es uno de los verbos más complejos o más utilizados en inglés. Get mm -hmm. tiene tantos significados y tantos usos que puede ser obtener, puede ser comprar. Bueno, hay tantos usos, pero en este caso es eh, obtener. You always get an A. Siempre sacas un A. So did, had. Ok, ahora les pregunto. What is the present? El presente de did. El primero que tenemos en la lista. The present of did. Do. This one. Do. Do, very good. The present of had. Uh, have. 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 The present of went. Go. 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 The present of sang. Sing. 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 What is the present of did? Do. 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 The present of went. Go. Was. Mm -hmm. Go. 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 Muy bien. Go. Es ir. Go. Uh, the present of stayed. Stay. 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 Mm -hmm. Stay. The present of started. Started. Sorry. Study and the present of forgot. Forget. 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 Okay. So now you can identify regular and irregular verbs. Very good job. So the conversation is about Meg. ¿Qué estará haciendo Meg in this picture? What is she doing in this picture? Look. Karaoke bar. Karaoke in a karaoke bar. bar. In Sang. Dice que cantó con algunos amigos. Wow. She in did Dakota, uh -huh. in, in Dakota or uh -huh. uh, how do you say cantante? Singer. Uh, singer is Ellen Nielsen. Really? She's very, yes, she's very good singer and the uh, rancheras. Entonces and podemos preguntarle, podemos preguntar, we can ask how good are you at singing. How good are you at singing? Ellen Nilsson? Or Ellen Nilsson? He went to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> He's not in the class. He's not he in the is Ellen Nilsson. Ellen Nilsson. It's not Ellen. It's Ellen Nilsson. Imagine. So he's good at singing at the karaoke. Wow. Interesting. So the same as Meg. What do you think? How good is Meg? at singing at the karaoke. ¿Qué piensan ustedes? How good is she? ¿Qué tan buena es? <laughs> She's bad. bad. She's bad. <laughs> Look at these people here. She's bad. She is really bad. So how good is Meg for Spanish language? ¿Qué piensan? How good is her for the Spanish language? ¿Qué tan buena será para el español? She is good. She is really good. She is really good because she always gets an A. Look, there we have some examples. So let's continue. This is the conversation. I need um, you to practice this conversation. So let me ask you questions about pronunciation. Questions about new vocabulary, because we are going to practice this conversation right now. Questions or not? If not, let's go and practice. 
I'm going to send you this picture so you can practice with your classmates. Remember, you're going to practice twice. The first time you are going to practice uh, with, the, with the part of the conversation and the other time you're going to switch roles. Van a intercambiar roles, okay? So please, here we go. In pairs, lo voy a hacer en pareja para que sea un poquito más rápido. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, go class. Go and check your WhatsApp. There you have the picture so you can practice. Very good job. Go and practice, please. Samuel and Carlos, go with your classmates, please. Okay, speaking time, practice the vocabulary and the conversation. Okay, then. Yes, you're just going to read the conversation. Just read the conversation. Okay. Uh, so, your microphone. Your microphone. Cuando quiero hablar, no me escuchen. Ahora sí. Hey, so what did what did you do last weekend, Gustavo? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a croc bar and sang with some friend on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you, did you go to Lucky's? No, Lucky's? one didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed, uh, I just stayed home. Espérame, espérame, Carlita, estoy cayendo aquí. Hi, guys. Este, este, hoy sí, Nierro. Eso, vamos, go, please. I'm going to be listening. Si necesitan ayuda, aquí estoy, go. Dale, Nierro. Bye. Uh, so, what did you do last weekend, Mary? Oh, I had a green tea. It went to a karaoke bar and sang with song the friend on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to look? look no. When things didn't, uh, we went to that new place, Tom Tom. Who, who about you? Did you go and um, where? Where? No, I didn't go anywhere. I weekend. I could stay home and study. For today's Spanish test. All is all is Spanish test is today. I forgot all, all, all about that. All about that. Uh -huh. uh, don't worry, you always get hung. Uh, no, I didn't. And A, very good job. Now switch. Samuel va a comenzar. No, Sam, yes, Samuel is going to start and Ruth is going to be me. Practiquemos, vamos. Okay, so, so what did you do last weekend, Make.
Okay, Glenda, uh, where is Carlos, Glenda? I don't know what my microphone is not working. <laughs> Terminamos, teacher, y le pedí que me iba a tener un ratito porque estoy trabajando en un documento. Bueno, no hay problema, Glendita, pensé que estaba sola. No, 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 lo practicamos ambas veces. There we go, don't worry. Yeah, so. Thank you, no, you're welcome. Did you practice, Carlos? Okay. okay, time to come back. Sorry, Miss. Sorry, I. I, I, I <laughs> Your microwave, I was like, is he talking to me or is he talking on the phone? I didn't oh, know no, you. Know. No, no, no. I know, I know, I don't see the. Oh, the really? Music, the That's why I didn't ask you, you know, I was, you were on the phone. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I say um, I practice with Glenda. With Glenda, I see. Don't worry. The problem, the problem is with Glenda. Uh, she received the um, a call. A call the mm. customer. Oh the no, no. So yes, she told me. So don't worry. <laughs> there we go. So did you practice new vocabulary? Yeah. Okay, great. Veamos sus compañeros. Yes, they are back. We still have like five minutes. Veamos el vocabulario que nos escuché que les costó un poquito pronunciar. Don't worry, you know, practicing speaking or reading out loud is going to be helpful. Siempre me gusta ponerlos a practicar porque eh, así eh, practican la pronunciación. Don't worry, si no se sienten seguros con la pronunciation, porfa, tratemos de leer en voz alta. Eso les va a ayudar, you know. It's not fair. Yes, and algo que les iba a recomendar for pronunciation, you know. I have been working with the same group, mismos, mismo nivel de estudiantes, solo que diferente grupo en la noche. Les voy a recomendar este, reading practice. Please. You can go to Google. Este, practicamos esto, ok. Reading practice. Así ustedes escuchan y a la misma vez van imitando la lectura. Y van aprendiendo vocabulario extra, extra vocabulary. Pueden encontrar diferentes temas. So, si quieren mejorar su pronunciación, este es un buen ejercicio. Miren, 12 minutos de práctica. Aquí tenemos tres horas seguidas de práctica. Ok, so, there are no excuses. Pueden buscarlo también para el nivel básico, intermedio, avanzado, si quieren probar también. So listen, read and practice. Es muy útil, muy útil para mejorar la pronunciación. Porque van escuchando y a la vez van practicando. Yes, tell me, Alberto. Y en ese caso de ese video, también dice en español o solo en inglés. Fíjense que solo es en inglés. Por, para mm -hmm. que ustedes se acostumbren a ir escuchando. Y lo que me gusta es que es una pronunciación americana. Entonces van imitando ustedes frase por frase o oración por oración la pronunciación correcta. Es muy útil. Úsenlo si quieren mejorar su pronunciación o si les da miedo hablar todavía. So do it. Ustedes mismos rétense porque la gramática creo que lo estamos haciendo bien. Van captando la gramática muy bien. Pero la pronunciación... Eh, no solo se queden con la, el ejercicio que tenemos en la clase. A veces solo son cinco minutos. So, you can continue practicing at night, you know. So, you can continue. Vamos a ver, last two exercises. Teníamos en la plataforma. Where is the platform? Aquí está. Miren, eh, es todo lo escuché mal pronunciado en algunos grupos. This one. Quiero ver. Teacher. Tell me. Eh, karaoke, ¿cómo es la pronunciación? Ah, vamos. Karaoke sería como en español, la palabra adaptada al español. Karaoke. Karaoke es en inglés. Karaoke. Very good. Otra que Gracias. escuché. Esta, miren. Es fun. No, fun. Fun. Fond. Fond. 
Downtown, downtown. También, downtown. Había otra, let me see. It's this one, look. Lockies, Lockies. Did you go to Lockies? Este es el nombre del lugar, ok? Did you go, fuiste a Lockies? No, we didn't. Mm -hmm. Lucky. Miss, yes. yeah, the tell color me. is um, A or in A. Where? In the final. Um, in A or an A. Enrique, I... don't worry. You always get an A or an A. I, do, I don't get it, you know. I don't get it. Where, where is it? The last line. The last okay. one. Ah, this one. Yes, I was looking here. Estaba buscando arriba. It's an A. An A. Okay. Okay. You always get an A. Y si se fijan, en este caso podemos juntar el sonido. Get an A. Get an A. ¿Por qué? Porque comienza con una vocal y la última palabra termina con una consonante. Entonces pueden linkear estas dos palabras. Get an Get an A. Incluso las tres pueden poner juntas. Get an A. Get an A. Ok. So this is just practice. Bien clase. Tomorrow we are going to continue practicing y vamos a completar los exercises from the platform. Ok. So we are going to stop the class here. Thank you so much for coming today. Friday, yes. Tomorrow is Friday, I know, but we are going to have class tomorrow. Ok. La única semana con class on Friday because we didn't have class on Monday. So thank you so thank much you for so coming much. and see you tomorrow. Don't forget to practice. Yeah. See you Today tomorrow. We practice you so the karaoke you from tomorrow. with Elenilson. Okay, practice the karaoke with Elenilson, please. In English, yeah. okay, not Spanish. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. Pónganlo a cantar solo en inglés, en español. Okay. Yeah, right? Ya ahorita, ahorita. Lástima ahorita. que termina la hora, pero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. Thank you. Bye-bye, class. Have a great Bye. day. Bye. Great night, bye, yeah. great afternoon. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. bye, bye.